I go to Bryant and Stratton and I am in the medical assisting program and I will graduate in two years with my associate's degree in medical assisting. As a transition coordinator here at CWI, we assist students with accessing community supports to help them become successful after high school. So I assisted Brooke with filling out an Access VR application so that she could meet Pam and receive some of their services. I applied to get into Brandon Stratton College and I got accepted and then I had a meeting with Lisa from CWI and we discussed the finances I would need. Then she introduced me to Pam. She's from Access VR. I met with Brooke while she was a junior so that we could start the process of transition services. So what that involved was the access application and me sitting down with Brooke and Lisa to um, kind of have that initial discussion about what she wanted to do when she was done with school as it relates to a career or work. I remember Brooke coming to that meeting and just being so impressed and we uh, developed a college plan together and we got you know, the necessary paperwork together. In the end, we're able to help her with funding for college. So we're helping with tuition and books and expenses related to college. The first thing that I noticed about Brooke is that she's a go-getter. She holds down a job while she's going to school and she's had that job for several years. At 18, 19 years old, it's pretty remarkable. Brooke has been my student for two years. I got to work with the folks CWI and from with Pam with uh, Access VR, and I was just impressed with all the services and, and the support that Brooke had. With them, Brooke really grew. She blossomed. It's just very, very impressive. I'm an employment counselor. I work with CWI and what we do is work with uh, people with many different abilities in the community to find them employment with what their capabilities and what the employer is looking for. It's just really nice to meet the individuals case by case and get to know them on an individual level and there's a lot of different jobs that we've been able to place people at. I attended college at SUNY Adirondack. Well, I was provided with some training from the same agency for the Life Unlimited program, CWI, and, um, and now here I am today working quite successfully and, and I'm getting along with the and other employees quite well, so it's been a, an improvement on my social skills. Sarah has been a great employee, so she's always here on time. Uh, she is conscientious. She does an excellent job everyone enjoys working with her. This has been our first experience with the community employment through CWI and we are just really happy. Sarah had never traveled or been on any kind of public transportation so right away I knew that we had to kind of start somewhere because she needed transportation in order to start a job so we started right on the bus line. That's a huge step for her. She had never left the Glens Falls area, and here's this person now being completely independent and going and taking the buses, and she's socializing and being independent and problem solving and everything on her own. I am very satisfied with my job. I am also satisfied with my job coaching that has helped me put where I am now so I can be independent. I would be lost without CWI in order to be where I am now. Urban just started normal respite and after I really got to know him for a while he started talking about all of his goals and how he wanted his life to change and eventually wanting to get a learn how to read and get a job so I asked work if I was able to to do more specifically targeted goals for him instead of just the normal respite and she said that I was allowed to so I started calling up multiple places nursing homes a few hospitals to try to find where we were allowed to volunteer because I figured that would be a good foot in the door, you know, for him to learn responsibilities. And Saratoga Hospital gave us a chance. I like CWI, but I wanted to like do more, more stuff like out in the community, like like have a rare job and do other things out in the community. I want to have my life on my own. At Saratoga Hospital, I 
I do like round tearing and cleaning there. And I and they love me there and I like it there. And I do a good job every time they go in the bathroom, they said it smells good and I do a good great great job there. I like the people, I like everybody, I like everything down there. After working with E.G. and Steven for individually for a while, uh, I got to learn their personalities and their likes and dislikes, and I asked work if I could get them together, and they seemed to hit it off right away, and they enjoyed going to the movies, bowling, and their game cards, and uh, seemed to really hit it off and created a good friendship. E.G.'s a good guy. He has the same qualities that I have, that he likes Yu-Gi-Oh, likes playing video games, likes fishing. This helped me control my autism a little bit, controlled my, myself, talking to myself. Before I ever met E.G., I was an anti-social person, I didn't like very many people. Till I met E.G., that all changed. My friendship started building and building. Ever since Eric introduced me to Steven, he's been a really nice friend. We've been hanging out a lot together, and he's really nice. I made my life better by having another friend, talking a little more. People, I really like them. It's nice that now they have more to their lives and now they develop a friendship and when I watch them kind of interact and have fun together, it's cool that they're, allowed, they're able to do that and I feel glad that I was able to help them get together and cultivate a friendship outside of their normal daily lives. Patty is a piece of work, is what I always say. She is so much fun. She loves working. She loves helping people. Um, she loves her family more than anything in the world. She's a very important part of the entire family. Everybody loves her. Everybody loves to spend time with her. I love working here. I'd like to earn some more extra money. The best part is working downstairs on the firewood, stuff like that. I like working out on the work floor, like sweeping the floors when they need it. I just like working around the area here. It makes me feel good. This year, CWI nominated Patty for our Jocelyn Award, which is an award given out by the New York State Industries for the Disabled. It's a very prestigious award, and in Patty's case, we chose her because she not only cares about who she is as an employee, but who everyone else is around her, how they're doing, not only just her coworkers, but the staff who serve her every day. She's making sure that everyone's upbeat and cheerful and making sure that everyone has something nice said to them each day. So she really epitomizes an employee who has a great deal to offer. It's not just the work she contributes, but who she is overall as a person. What CWI means to Patty and me is a life of independence for Patty and it helps me with my independence and it helps me to know that Patty's happy, which is what I want. Without CWI, I will feel lonely. I feel good and I feel very happy to be with everybody. And that's the way I like to see everybody happy. CWI is for me, it's a way to get my services and have a place to go to, get my mom and me a break from each other. It gives me my PT, my OT, my friends, I have a couple good friends and the staff is very nice. Peter has a great personality, he's never down, um, he's very, very funny, and he's quick-witted, which is, I think, the best aspect that Peter has, and he, he wouldn't give up. And if he doesn't give up, then I'm not going to give up. When Gabby showed up, she said, don't worry, we're going to try to get this program, and if it wasn't for her, I don't know where we'd, we would be right now.
My supervisor came in to my office with a bunch of papers and explained to me that, you know, we have this family and their house is in danger of foreclosure. If you could look through these and see what you could do, that would be really great. When Peter's grandmother passed, she died in intestate, which means that she died without a will. And so that made it really complicated for the family to try to make those mortgage payments. The next hurdle we had to overcome was settling the estate. So that's where we are right now. We're not quite done yet, but we're almost there. So it's, a, it's been a long process and it's hard for them because not only did they lose their loved one, but then they had all of this other stuff to think about. And nobody wants to think about that. They want to grieve for the loss of their loved one and not be afraid that they're going to be homeless. We're hopeful that we're going to be done soon and that they'll be able to live in their house that they can afford and they're not going to have this anxiety hanging over their heads anymore. What, what CWI is for us, for me and my family, is a, a savior. A savior. Because if we didn't have CWI or Gabby, we would be probably homeless right now. I'm very grateful for her and this program.